but also nearly four dozen other suspected mobsters in New York City. Some of the crimes prosecutors say they committed sound like something straight out of a Hollywood script. Yeah, things like gambling and wanting to break people's knees. Fox 29's Dave Schratwein is live outside of FBI headquarters in Center City with more on this tonight. Dave. And Joey Merlino is listed as the number two defendant in this massive indictment, and that normally is not good news. He is behind bars tonight after being busted at his Florida home early this morning. The charges are very serious, and Merlino potentially faces a long year, a long time in jail. Three weeks ago, mob boss Joey Merlino was cruising around the Jersey Shore in a half million dollar Rolls Royce. Thursday morning in Boca Raton, Florida, he was riding in the back of an FBI van headed to federal prison. Joey went to Florida and said he was out of it, and obviously that wasn't the case if this indictment's correct, because it looks like he got right back in it and was doing the same things he's always done. Fox 29 cameras were there in Margate as Merlino enjoyed what could be his last days at the Jersey Shore for a long time. Now he stands indicted along with 47 others in a massive federal racketeering indictment that stretches from New York to Florida. I was told that not only will you hear these guys, but you will see these guys. Apparently the technology is real sophisticated and so it's audio and videotapes. The charges date back to 2011 when Merlino first got out of prison on a federal racketeering conviction here in Philly. The indictment charges everything from racketeering to gambling, loan sharking, arson and firearms offenses as well as health care fraud. It's looking for other opportunities, but it's always about the money. That's what it comes down to. It's always about the money. While the trial is probably a year or more away, if Merlino is convicted, it would be his third federal conviction. And that could mean the 54-year-old wise guy could spend years in prison again. His days of cruising the shore and the Gold Coast of Florida in a Rolls Royce may be on hold. Joey's track record has always been taken to trial. And then maybe he decides, I got nothing to lose, let's go again. Now, Merlino's attorney had not seen the specific charges when we spoke with him, but he did say, obviously, this is not our first rodeo. Merlino usually takes these cases to trial. Coming up at 6, where this investigation will go next and a second local connection to this huge indictment. Lucy? All right, thank you.